So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason iMessage and FaceTime keep signing you out, maybe they keep logging you out, and it's a very, very random issue and you're trying to figure out how to get to the bottom of this. Now, the first thing to keep in mind and the first thing to remember is that FaceTime and iMessage pretty much rely on your you know, Apple account and those things. So if your Apple account is not set up or if you're having issues within your Apple ID or any issues like that, the first thing you're going to want to do is alleviate it. So make your way over to your settings application right here. And what you're going to want to do here is you just want to go and double check that you're signed into your Apple ID account properly. So click right into here and you want to go and basically just either sign back into your Apple ID account or you want to see if you get into a pop up that tells you to log in. Most of the time, if you log into that pop-up, you're pretty much going to be good to go. And that really is all you're going to have to do from that particular perspective for the most part. Now, the other thing you may want to try doing too is make your way back into your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down until you see messages, which is right over here. And then you want to go and just make sure iMessage is turned on right here. And go back out, go into FaceTime, so wherever you find the FaceTime option. You want to go and find it. And you want to make sure FaceTime also makes you and allows you to log in as well. As long as you're able to log in and your you know, FaceTime option here is enabled, that's basically the only other thing you have to do really for the most part as well. So try doing that. You want to see if that ends up fixing it. If that still doesn't work, what you may want to try doing then is you want to make your way over to your general settings, which is right here. So tap into general settings, and then you want to click on software update right here. And you want to see if there's a software update available for your iPhone. For a lot of people out there, all you're really going to have to do is just software update your phone, and that can very well end up fixing the problem for a ton of people as well. So those are kind of the main ways to go and fix this problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.